Security forces of the Free State Army in uh, Azaz, they told us that uh, because of the first explosion, uh, some shrapnel hit a nearby vehicle, and that vehicle actually lit fire, and they were not able to put that fire out in time, and it eventually exploded, also causing uh, injury to the people that were in the area responding to the initial blast. Uh, this is one of the most violent attacks that has hit uh, the city of Azaz uh, in some time. Uh, the uh, Operation Euphrates Shield was meant to clear Azaz initially from Daesh, uh, in 2016, uh, and then a second operation was conducted in the adjacent uh, region of Afrin, uh, Olive Branch, uh, launched in 2018. Uh, since then, Turkey has worked hard to uh, try and establish a, a sense of security. Many people from all around Syria are coming to these parts of northern Syria to look for safety. Azaz is one of those places that sits right next to the border uh, and is a very busy place with busy marketplaces. People were preparing for the Eid holiday. This is uh, the that comes at the end of the Ramadan month of fasting. Uh, and, and this marketplace was attacked with a, uh, a booby-trapped vehicle. Uh, and as you can tell, this is a, a, a sign that the situation in Syria is still quite vol volatile. Uh, the sources on the ground, the security sources are saying that the PKK uh, partner in Syria, the PKK's wing in Syria, the YPG, is responsible for this attack. Uh, this is the group that Turkey has been fighting, uh, even East of the Euphrates uh, and has uh, allied with the U.S. in eastern Syria uh, to fight Daesh, uh, but the United States has taken uh, them as a partner uh, despite Turkey's uh, basically refusal of them as a partner, claiming that they are also uh, a terror group linked to the PKK terror group that has carried out uh, a terror campaign against Turkey uh, for at least uh, 40 years now.